Welcome back guys, and in this video I have a Dell computer, and it is not slow, it is not laggy in any way, it's got an M.2 in it, it is super fast. The issue is, this beautiful little touchscreen thing here, the battery is dying on it. So, uh, we get an error message, so when we open this up, like so, and we log in here, we get this message. Your battery has experienced a permanent failure and needs to be replaced. And you can also get that and when your computer shuts down and you can also tell if you're looking at the battery, it drains extremely quickly. The battery is just shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the battery in here and make this thing like brand new from the factory. So first things first, we're gonna shut down the computer and then we're gonna flip it upside down. And while this thing is shutting down, I am gonna be using, again, the Ninja Battery Pro. These are very well rated, very good batteries with warranties. This is the one that fits specifically for this computer. I'll link this all down below just in case you do have this Dell. It does work for a whole lot more Dells because of course not every battery is gonna be different for their lineup. This is the Inspiron that they have. Just make sure you check when you find this, make sure on the description on Amazon that it does have your model number. Make sure it's the right one before you buy it, but that's a great brand. This is the one I'm gonna be using. So let's go ahead and flip this over, grab the battery out of here. I already opened this up, and I'm surprised how teeny tiny these batteries are. It's, it, it looks so tiny. All right, and here we have it upside down. You can see it's the Inspiron, and you can just easily look around here. There's no hidden screws. You can see each and every one up here in plain sight. You're gonna go around, you're gonna take all these out. Now, you do not need any tools at all for this because with the Ninja battery, it actually comes with a little screwdriver that's exactly for these size screws. So you don't need anything, you just, get your new battery, comes with it, you take all of these screws out, and we're good to go. All right, now that we have all the screws off the back, now we need to pry this off. There's a bunch of little clips that keep this in place. So I'm gonna start back here on the grill next to the two hinges. We're gonna start from back here and pull, and you can see some of these clips are starting to come off, just like that. And then I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna go around the edges and we're going to completely get this back piece off. Now that we have that off, we're gonna set that off to the side and we're on the inside of the computer. With the obvious old battery right here, it is in very easy access. All right, so now that we're in here, it's very easy to remove. We have four screws. We've got one, two, three, and four Phillips head screws. Again, the tool that they provide, those little Phillips, will get rid of all of these. So we're gonna take these out first so we can move this battery out a little bit so we can get this, this connector out of the way. All right, now that we have all of the screws out of the way, the battery will come out, and you can see this is the harness that's keeping it in place. We just have to plug, unplug it on this side, and this is why I got all the screws out, so you can get a firm grasp on this plug. Once you get that grasp, because you do not want to pull it by this small wire, you want to pull it by the actual connection that's in there. So I'm gonna grab it, and I'm just gonna wiggle it back and forth until it comes out, just like that. And here is the old battery, which looks exactly like the new battery, which is a great sign. Just like the new one that's coming in, except it says a Ninja battery, except for Dell. So we're gonna pop this new one in, just like we did. go here the clip that'll go into place and we're gonna set it right above all those holes and get this screwed right back in all 
All right, now everything has been put back exactly the way it was, easy as can be. We're gonna put the plate on the back on. We're gonna screw everything back in and we will have a working computer. All right, now we have everything put back together and we can get, uh, we can get this bad boy turned on and because we did that, we're gonna have to come over here and actually press the power button since that was a hard reset when we took the battery out. It's the same thing as if the battery died and then turned back on. So we press the power button and wait for this thing to load up and hopefully it has enough juice and we can get this thing powered on. And sadly, it did not come with enough charge for us to turn it straight on, so we've got it plugged in. We've got the charging light going right now. So I'm gonna try again. And now it's working, I can hear it. Super clean. Brought to you by Dell. So there we go, we've got everything coming back online. We're gonna jump right back in here and see if we still have that same error message. Nope, we've got no more error message. We can look down here and see that we are charging. And just like that, we've got a brand new computer, like nothing ever happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to watch more videos, of course, subscribe and do other fun stuff so we can keep doing this together.